Sup gamers, welcome to episode 1 of the Tryhard series guide. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to juke 173. First, we need to understand 173's abilities. We're going to be talking about Blink, Breakneck Speeds, and Tantrum. As you can see right here, this is Blink. This is the normal teleporting distance for SCP-173 when he's being looked at. This is Breakneck Speeds. SCP-173 will teleport a whole room, but he loses the effect of being able to kill anybody from a further distance. So keep that in mind. The final ability is called Tantrum. Tantrum is a environmental hazard that 173 makes to slow down his opponents to make it easier for him to kill with Blink. Now that we've understood Blink, Breakneck Speeds, and Tantrum, now we can understand and learn how to juke 173. We will now analyze a clip of me juking a good friend of mine, Face Fawcett, to understand how to effectively juke and evade 173. What I'm doing right here is barely looking for 173's name, so I have the proper distance to avoid him when he teleports. Now, I decided to close the door, then not look at him while I'm running away, because I realize I'm gonna be heading towards a corridor. You never ever wanna look at 173 through a corridor, or he can easily teleport through a door and just kill you. So that's how I would evade 173 if I'm getting chased through corridors especially. What you just saw me do is called the door flick. We want to prevent 173 from inching in closer, so what we do is, is we look at the door and open it for a split second, and then look back without the blink timer running down. Pro tip. When 173 just magically disappears, flick as fast as you can behind you because 173 would usually try to breakneck speeds to snap your neck from behind. That's pretty much it for juking at 173. If you like this stuff, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments on what you want me to cover next. See ya.